All right, looks like we are about 50 minutes from Wego, and we're about ready to cross over the Mississippi River here in a little bit. I'm beginning to see water. Yeah. It's uh, Mobile Bay in front of us. Uh, we've uh, made that route a lot of times by car, and on a Sunday when everybody's going to Destin or Gulf Shores or or Pensacola or wherever, that is just a traffic jam and a half. There's a lot nicer up here, isn't it, baby? It is. That's what you were talking about. Let's uh, wish we could see that road that goes into the tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure exactly where that is, but yeah. I guarantee you it's packed. Oh, yeah. It's it's always bumper to bumper. And even that that bridge that goes over the Mobile Bay, um, uh, oh, just past that. Uh, it, it comes to a standstill sometimes. Oh, yeah. We're getting into quite a few planes around. We've not had any traffic all day long. Yeah, they're all around us, aren't they? They're just... Yep. Then if we ever go to Gulf Shores, this is where we'll fly into is Jack Edwards. We're going to right over that. Yep. You know, that would be a very easy trip to come down to Gulf Shores or Destin. Oh, I know. Not bad at all. It is not nearly as hot today as it was yesterday. Oh, I know. it. Well, it's outside temperature 63, but I don't know. It's just so much pleasanter today. Pleasant. Pleasant to tur. Pleasant tur today. More pleasant. More pleasant, more better. I was dying yesterday. Oh, I know it. It was it was warm yesterday. Rocket one one connect Gulf Park Road twenty seven point five. You have a good day. I think the sun was shining in more. Well, it might have been a little bit. Yeah, it's a little. Uh, I mean, the sun's out, but I look at all the houses with the boat docks. Oh, yeah. Got your big camera ready to take yeah, any shots? Nope. Guess I ought to get it out, huh? 741, Roger, connect to Tower 18.57. 18.575, uh, 741. Oh, the airport uh, right here to my left. Is the continent where uh, Baron Pilot got his new engines. Oh. Oh, does that constitute two shout-outs to Baron Pilot? I think so. Oh. That's not a bad place to fly into if you have to have your engines redone, isn't it? No, not at all. All right, we're coming up on Sinus here. That's the Jack Edwards Airport in front of us, it looks like. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that's the one for, um... We go into Gulf Shores. And this is all Gulf Shores right here, the beach of Gulf Shores. Yeah. The Orange Beach is right straight in front of us. Oh, yeah. All the condos. Yeah. 260 Kilo Mike, contact Mobile Approach, 118.5. Oh, a five-knot tailwind, baby. We're, right. we're cooking. Ground speed, 150 knots now, finally. Boy, over here on the uh, intercoastal, or the waterways over here, they are just locked up one after the other boats to get out to the Gulf. Boy, look at all the blue umbrellas on the beach. Uh, it's kind of getting, I'm getting over the water and you're seeing the beach. Yeah. Okay, now, how did the view, I just get out over the Gulf. You get to look at all the pretty boats. I can't really see the boats good enough. Well, I guess we'll have to make the same route coming back then. Yeah, so I can get that view. Yeah. Kelly Zero Papa Echo, contact Pensacola Approach on 119.0. 119.0, 80 Papa Echo, thanks for your help. Welcome, we'll see you. Pensacola Approach, Skyline November 80, Papa Echo, level 7000. Skyline 80 Papa Echo, Pensacola Approach, good morning, Altimeter 3007. 
3007, Look at all the high rises down there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right now off the left wing is the, uh, what is that, the Pensacola Naval Air Station, baby? Yeah. Yeah, and then you can see uh, right off the strut there is the inlet. Hey. 124, five, thanks. When we go flying to the Bahamas, what altitude will we be? Uh, probably about here. You want lower? It, it's kind of hard for them to get radar contact with you unless you're around uh, seven. Uh, now, once we get on to the Bahamas, we can drop on down. But when, oh, okay. we, when we cross, we need to be up high enough okay. uh, until we lose. Look said it all, didn't it? What's that? Just stared at you after the look said it all. Yeah. Even though I couldn't see your eyes through the glasses. Knew what I was wanting. Yes. Yeah, I, I'd like to have enough altitude so we got glide distance to get to an island. May not have an airport, but at least if we had the ditch, we'd be close to shore. Yeah. And uh, uh, we do have that life raft, yellow with a red canopy. Yes, that weighs 14 pounds or 13 pounds. 13 pounds. Yeah. I really rather not use that. No. Well, there's the Navarre Bridge. We hadn't quite got up to that yet. And there's some clouds coming in, so I'm not sure we're going to be able to see it. Yeah, because we're moving, we're kind of cutting off the corner. And a little bit, a little yeah, bit they're, they're kind of... Echo contact, Eglin approach on 132.1. Have a great one. 132.1, 80 pop echo. Eglin approach. Yeah. Eglin Approach, Skyline November 80, Papa Echo, level 7,000. November 80, Papa Echo, Eglin Approach, Roger, loud and clear, Eglin Altimeter 3008. 3008, 80, Papa Echo. Air 111, we got that down now. Roger, yeah, you know how to hit the, the barrel on the cap 140 now, don't you? Yep. Every little thing you can do that I don't have to do helps. Even where we're at right now, we're in gliding distance of land. Oh, yeah. May not be able to glide to an airport. But uh, we could sure ditch and be in shallow water if we had it to. Yeah, it won't be long till we should be able to see the bridge if we're not. Yeah, uh, we I'm afraid the clouds are going to kind of block that. We'll, we'll see. Ron's mom and stepdad used to live in Navarre, so we're very familiar with, with that bridge and going to the beach. And yeah, yeah, we've been all along this beach right here off our left. I don't know about you, but I'm getting a little hungry. You're always a little hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that fudge did me any good. Yeah, well, the, the thing about fudge, it, it's real sweet, and it's filling for about a minute. Yeah. Then you just want more fudge. And then, then you go, okay, I've had enough fudge. I need some real food now. Yeah. How much longer do we have? Sound like a bunch of little kids. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Well, the, the flight plan on my side just shows the uh, the track, desired track, and the distance to each waypoint. But the flight plan on your side, you come over here on the FMS and hit flight plan, have it set up to show the total cumulative distance. So it's 50 miles to the uh, Panama VOR, then 82 miles total from where we're at right now to uh, Cross City. So. 182 nautical miles, and we are 100, 153 knots ground speed. We'll be there in a little over an hour. A little an hour works for me. Yeah. Now let me see, uh, because uh, the itinerary, where you're supposed to eat in Cross City. Oh. You got well, it's on my itinerary, we can ask at the FBO and say, uh, yeah. But my itinerary says there's a little restaurant called Taste of Dixie. Oh, okay. Well, that might work out pretty good. We'll make sure. I think it's close enough we could... I don't know if we could walk it. I think they've got courtesy car. They have a, I'm sure they got a courtesy car, but we'll figure it out. Uh, I could look pitiful and say, I am starving. Can you please take us to the... No. ...food <laughs> establishment? Yeah. It uh, looks like we're due south of Destin. A uh, little bit of cloud cover over there. We took a picture of the inlet, which is kind of right behind me now. Uh, but our friends, our neighbors, or they used to be neighbors, we all kind of stagger ourselves along. Janice and I usually stay in Destin, and then one set of our neighbors kind of stays uh, 
uh, around Rose, uh, Rosemary. Rosemary. Uh, then the other one I think is a little closer to uh, Panama City Beach, but not in Panama City, just west of there. And uh, I remember last time we were here and we all three got to get together, it was like boom, boom, boom. <laughs> and so <laughs> we went deep sea fishing and it was uh, you eat what you caught. So yeah. luckily we caught enough to feed everybody. Yeah. I didn't go fishing, but I enjoyed the fish. Yeah, yeah. Well, y'all y'all hit the, uh, what, sand oh, dust? Oh, the malls, yeah. 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 And we're, this is kind of a little cove we're at now, but the land is going to start kind of coming in on us here in miles. Yeah, we're going to see uh, Panama City Beach. Looks like we'll see it pretty good. Yeah. Hey, you want me to help you there? Bend it a little bit. It'll stay put. I guess. Are you bouncing around with it all the time? No way. <laughs> Looks like a little dog toy with it bouncing up and down. <laughs> okay, we took my air to cool off the GoPro, and I am getting hot. Well, use this one. Turn this one your way. How's that? Looky there. I can't get that, you know, it's not strong enough. I can't get that nice windblown look. Oh. My hair suffered this morning in the humidity. Yeah, well, it, it was muggy. It was definitely muggy. Yeah, Wichita may be humid at times, but it's nothing like, the number can even be close to the same as what Louisiana, but it is totally different. It yeah. is just. Yeah, it, it, it is definitely, definitely. Yeah, would you Alpha contact it's more, approach, you uh, it I, feels more humid. Yeah, I don't it's know. just wetter, I guess. I don't, I don't know. know. In Panama City in front of us, huh? Yep, it's, uh, well, I'm actually going to the VOR, so uh, it's only 17 miles away in front of us to the VOR, which will take us pretty close to the airport. And then I can see the inlet on the bay as well. This is all Panama City Beach along here with all the high-rises and everything. But on the, we're not really the high-rise people, though, are we? No, uh, we are definitely not high-rise people. Yeah, we we uh, when when they talk about going to the Bahamas and stuff like that, they always say there's two types of people: there's the cruise ship and resort people, and there's the non-cruise ship and resort people. We're the non. We're the non. Yeah, yeah. We, we. So we and they, or those of us that are the non-cruise ships and non-resort, we typically go to what they call the out islands or or something like. That. Some of those may have some little smaller resorts in them. But they're they're not like a primary destination uh, kind of thing. Yeah. I uh, I want to get away from the crowds when I go on vacation, not be immersed in them. Exactly. I had uh, done some work in the Bahamas years and years ago, and uh, found a little island that I was at doing a little work in, and it was just so quaint and nice and you know calm and peaceful. Then the cruise ship docked. Then there's nothing like you know having several thousand people just undendate your, your your little quiet space that you got. Yeah. And yeah. then you're sitting there going, man, I can't wait for you to leave. <laughs> and, yeah. Then they leave and it's back to... Yeah, yeah. Well, then there's usually another one an hour or half, six hours away coming in, so... It's true. But, I mean, if that's your thing, that's your thing. And it's just not our thing, so it's just the way it works out for us. There's restricted airspace just right off here to our uh, 1 and 2 o'clock. I don't see a line. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> I, I, no. It doesn't look any different just looking out the window. Oh, you don't see that bright orange line down nope. there? No. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Well, if you saw a bunch of fighter jets flying by you, you'd see it. <laughs> All right. I'm afraid they're not at the same altitude as us. Uh, well, a lot of times they buzz the shorelines pretty low. Yeah, so. That's true. Well, down below, this, what is this, Shell Island? There's nobody down here. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. It's gorgeous. That's the place to go. No, nope, nobody there. Nobody there. Yeah. Maybe a reason why nobody's there. <laughs> oh, I see a boat. I think you can't really get to it except by a boat. Yeah. It's a very large house, though, right down here. Yeah. Right on top of it. There's another airstrip. There's two of them. I don't know if they're... Twin says no zero seven go back just for my planning purposes. How long are you going to be holding that area for your survey? And then after the survey, you're going to be returning to uh, ECP for zero seven Quebec. Roger. But all this right behind us is all restricted airspace. So yeah, 
Let's go ahead and get the uh, AWOS loaded. Uh, or, um, Cross City. Cross City. Windsor 270. It looks like runway 22, huh? 22, yeah. 22 is the runway. Yeah. I was just looking off the METAR off of this, but it helps to double check it. Get the AWOS frequency loaded. No, I do not. I'll do that real quick. Should have done. Two, I think four, I see it zero, right there. At seven, wind variable between two, one, zero, and three, one, zero. Visibility, one, zero. Sea and the Meridian is airborne, uh, about west of the airport, climbing through uh, 1,100 feet. We'll be way out of your way, Skyline. All right, we're at 1500. Here's the airport right there, babe. We're, we're parallel. We're on the downwind. Yeah, we're going to just come in right there. Yeah, and t turn around, yeah. Cross City Airport, uh, Skyline A0 Pop Echo is on left downwind for 3-1. Full stop, uh, Cross City. 3 Celsius, dew point, 2, 4, altimeter, 3, 0, 0, 8, A beam density, numbers. altitude, 10 degrees collapse, 9, 0, 0, I just keep going. Yeah. Cross City Airport, uh, Skyline Azo Papico, left base uh, for 3, 1, uh, Cross City. 3, 1. All right, 20 degrees. And turn and final. Cross City Airport, uh, Skyline Azo Papico on final, 3 1. Cross City. Flaps. I went right, went red. Cross City Airport, Skyline Azure, Papap, go clear of 3 1. Cross City. You got self serve here? I don't know. Okay. It looks like yeah, it looks like it. Well, we'll just get self serve. We'll go ahead and fill it up first. Um, yeah, that way you can get that way when we get back we can just leave. Yeah. That egg on the left, right? One hundred on left. Oh, okay. Yeah. Done this in a long time. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing.